Today, Mummy Pig is doing a big spring clean of the kitchen. <laughs> one sponge, one brew. I'm ready for the big clean. Dinosaur. <laughs> I can't play with you right now, George. Sorry. We'll play with George, Mummy. It just rained and there are muddy puddles to jump in outside. OK, Peppa, but don't forget to wear your boots. Boots. <laughs> and please take off your muddy boots when you come back inside. <laughs> Uh-oh! Maybe we should go inside before it starts to rain too much. Good idea! Let's play hide and seek around the house. But not in the kitchen, to let Mummy clean. <laughs> Wants to count. <laughs> okay, George, count to ten. <laughs> oh. That was quick, George. Uh oh. Wait a minute, those over there aren't my footprints. <gasps> You're so good, George. Oh no, Mummy isn't going to be very happy. What are we going to do? Mummy is using the broom and sponge in the kitchen. And we need to clean this mess quickly before she notices. <laughs> Maybe we can find other things to clean with around the house. Good idea, Susie. Let's look in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> it looks like they're going to need a little bit of help. Right, George, you wait for us here while we clean the muddy footprints around the house. <coughs> now, we just need to clean the bedroom and we will be all done. <gasps> oh no! What's going on in here? Oh! We're sorry, Mummy. We forgot to take our shoes off like you said and try to clean all the footprints. But George decided to clean in his own way. It's OK, Pepper. This is a good opportunity to learn some cleaning techniques. Let's do this together. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> well done, team. There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> you did a really good job cleaning in the kitchen, Mummy. <laughs> cleaning is easy with the right tools. Wait a minute, you were cleaning with the sponge and the broom earlier but we found them in the living room and in mine and George's bedroom. You hid them, Mummy. <laughs> You're not the only one who likes to play hide and seek. <gasps> <laughs> Oh my goodness! Mummy, 
Daisy. Are we nearly at the petting farm? I can't wait to meet the guinea pigs. Yes, Peppa. Grandpa Pig should be waiting for us outside. But remember, we are going to help Grandpa Pig get the farm ready for the animals first. That's right! Peppa, let's help carry this bag of seeds for the animals' breakfast. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> this sure is a heavy breakfast. Oh-ho! Thank you for your help bringing the animals food here, everybody. However, the truth is, the heavy rain last night has made the petting farm very muddy. A little too muddy. Where are all of the animals? They cannot come out until the farm has been cleaned, Rebecca. Otherwise, they will get too muddy for petting. Oh no! How can we help, Grandpa? Well, I'll show you, but it'll be very messy. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Yippee. <laughs> Amazing work, everyone. Thank you. But, Grandpa, there's still that big pile of mud. We still have time to clean it up, don't we, Mr. Pig? Ho, ho, we should do, as long as the animal... <gasps> as long as the animals don't come back just yet. The guinea pig will get too muddy for petting at this rate. Wait, Mr. Guinea Pig, please slow down. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper, George, Rebecca, are you okay? Yes, we're okay. That cheeky little guinea pig is so cute. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Silly mummy, it's only chickens. I suppose they are cute, aren't they, Pepper? Okay, everybody. The animals have safely been taken somewhere else whilst we finish cleaning this mud. But how will we do that, Grandpa? It's everywhere! We can use this! <laughs> Great work, everyone! Thank you for your help. The animals are very happy with our work. Now, who would like to feed Mr. Guinea Pig and Mrs. Chicken? Me! Me! Let's put the seeds over here in this trough, Mummy Pig. Then we can feed the animals. Oh, -ho! you're all very friendly. I love the petting farm. The T-Rex came, scaring everyone! Rawr! <laughs> yeah! Dinosaur! Rawr! <laughs> Did you hear that, George? That must be Daddy! Surprise! Surprise! Wow! A house with wheels! <laughs> That's right, it's called a motorhome and we are going to use it to go on a camping adventure. Yeah! yeah! Wow! 
This looks like a very fun camping site. Shall we set up our motorhome? Yeah! yeah! Is that a hammock on the roof? Yes, Peppa. Daddy Pig or I can sleep up there. Where will George and I sleep? Let's do a tour of our motorhome. Follow me. This is your bedroom. OK, so there's one hammock and two beds. That makes three. But there are four of us. There's not enough space for everybody. Ah, <laughs> well spotted, Peppa. But we haven't finished our tour yet. These benches can be turned into a bed, so there's enough space for everyone to sleep. I love our motorhome. It's magical. <laughs> it is. How about you and George go and play outside while Mummy and I finish setting up? <laughs> <laughs> Can you please tell us a scary story? Now that it's night time, it will be doubly scary. Well, I've heard that this camping site is home to a very creepy spider. They say he... Whoa! <laughs> oh, seems I'm not very brave when it comes to telling scary stories. <laughs> OK, George, how about you tell us a scary story? Dinosaur! Grrr! I've changed my mind. That's too scary, George. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough scary stories for tonight. I know what we could do instead. Some stargazing. Well spotted, George. That's a shooting star. Make a wish. Some of the stars make shapes, like those ones. They look like, well, they look like me. You're right, Peppa. A group of stars that make a shape is called a constellation. Who would like to see the constellations in the sky more clearly? Yes! So you set it up as so <laughs> and peek through this part at the sky. <laughs> ah! Oh my! What is it? <laughs> Silly Daddy, it's only a tiny little spider. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, what do you think George wished for earlier when the shooting star passed by? Was that? Hmm. I think I know what George wished for now. 